Tyler. We're getting ready to take a swab for the Pastrilla DNR DNA PCR test. Uh, this test goes to the University of Georgia, uh, where Dr. Branson Ritchie developed and holds patents for most of the uh, DNA PCR tests that we use for exotic species. Pastrilla is not the only cause of, a, of respiratory disease in bunnies, but is by far our most common. So with the swab, I'm going to do the inside of an eyelid. Okay. Just gently pull and twirl. Okay, and we pull out. Skyler is very stressed as a rescue bunny. The wind slow, going to go up the nostril. Hopefully we do not cause a nosebleed. It's much like tubing a horse. Let's go. Easy does it. No one's dressing. Easy does it. Pass this up just there a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clean the swab of the nose. Okay, we're going to come back out. There is a little blood on the swab. And the last thing we're going to do, we, we can do three sides. We do the inside of the eye, we do the nose, and we also do the roof of the mouth. And let's go in and I swab back. Come back up. Good. And we have a nice sample. This does not go back into the regular culture media. This goes into a plastic test tube. Okay. And then we will cut this off and then we'll be ready to ship to the University of Georgia. When we're doing culturing, um, commonly, people look at respiratory disease, commonly we'll do uh, the eyelid the same way. We'll do a deep nasal swab. And based on what we're looking for, we may or may not do the mouth. If we're specifically looking for pastorella, we'll do the mouth. But we know that in the culture, if we do do the mouth, we're likely to get a lot of contaminants. We should have the results back on the pastorella DNA PCR probe test. Should have the results back in approximately seven to ten days.